Hello, folks. Today is Friday, June 4th, 2021. As usual, my name is Jake Baldino, here to talk about all the video game news that has been going on this week. There's a lot to get you caught up on, and it feels kind of like the calm before the storm. Next week, E3 starts rolling out, all these events from all these different companies, so we're going to have a lot to eat. Uh, but for now, we do have some good snacks, the first thing being AMD and Fidelity FX. Now, we've talked about this in the past. This is AMD's response uh, to NVIDIA's DLSS. And essentially, in layman terms, what this kind of is, is specific uh, upscaling technology that is less hardware intensive and is pretty game changing. In an event earlier this week, uh, they detailed it even more. They explained it quite a bit. They've also explained that it is going to work on their competitors' cards, interestingly enough, NVIDIA cards. And they announced that AMD Fidelity FX is rolling out June 22nd, and you're going to be able to like go on their website and, and let AMD know what other games you want to see supported with this right away, which is pretty cool. The big thing about this, this is obviously exciting to see for PC gamers, uh, but we've talked about this in the past. Uh, we could essentially see this down the line on next generation consoles, seeing as that both the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 are running specific AMD chipsets. There has been talk about how it's going to roll out, and it does seem like a, a not a matter of if, more of a matter of when. So... That's your latest update. You get to see some pretty graphics on screen. And the PC gaming news just kept rolling this week because NVIDIA on their side also uh, revealed their new GPU that's going on sale soon. The RTX 3080 Ti, uh, as well as a 3070 Ti that is coming. And I'm saying this, making this face because like, is any, I actually saw a video the other day of people in California waiting on a line outside around the store. It looked like the launch of a new iPhone, just trying to get their hands on a GPU. It is still insane out there with the semiconductor shortages. From consoles being a pain in the ass to get uh, two graphics cards, so when NVIDIA announced this, awesome, cool, I believe it has something like 1.5 times the power, it's got more CUDA cores, it's just your, your general upgrade that you would expect, but also, regardless, still, you are informed if you want to read up more about it. Everything I talk about today is going to be linked down in the description below. Uh, one other quick news bite that we thought was pretty interesting is the possibility that CD Projekt Red is working on their next game. Uh, now, they have started talking more about their fixing roadmap for Cyberpunk, and uh, apparently it's getting closer to coming back. But we know they're working on that, but uh, now thanks to a job listing, it, it seems to suggest that their next project is in the works. Now, to, to a lot of you guys who follow Inside Baseball, that's like no surprise, really. Uh, studios are often very much working on another thing while they're launching something else. Like, it, there's always a project because money is always needed to be made. Uh, people need to be fed. So uh, what this job listing suggests is a, a new AAA RPG uh, in, in the prototype and implementing stages. Uh, so that language kind of has led a lot of news outlets to assume that their next project is very much in the works. There's probably a team working on fixing Cyberpunk and a team working on the early stages of a new thing. That's usually how it goes down. Actually, uh, breaking news, seems like CD Projekt Red is capitalizing on their new uh, gamer hate fandom and moving into mobile gaming and making a free-to-play mobile game called Clash of Novigrad. That is an awful, terrible joke. I apologize for that. Guys, I haven't had my coffee yet. Just let, let me have that one, all right? I'm going crazy. Uh, in other news, just uh, in terms of housekeeping and stuff, like I said at the beginning of this video, E3 is rolling out. Uh, so uh, on screen here and linked in the description below, just a bunch of like uh, save the date type of things for E3, uh, rolling out pretty much at the start of the end of next week. Uh, we're gonna get the Summer Game Fest kickoff thing with Jeff Keighley, expect some reveals there. Uh, then the Xbox event on that Sunday. And then from there, uh, we're getting a bunch of events from seemingly Square Enix, 2K, over on to, uh, by the end, Nintendo. It's a little tricky and hard to follow. We're gonna be making all kinds of videos about the stuff that interests us throughout the next couple of weeks. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But if you, if you wanna follow along, it's all linked down in the description below. Now in other news, uh, surprising some people, uh, God of War, the next God of War game, is now confirmed not coming out this year. There was a lot of people thinking that the uh, codenamed Ragnarok would be coming out this year, but apparently not. Not only that, uh, they have confirmed that it is also going to be a PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 title, not just a PlayStation 5 title, specifically just harnessing the power of next gen. Uh, no, Sony seems to, from a business sense, still want to capitalize on the amount of people playing on PlayStation 4. So on the one hand, yeah, it is very much kind of a backtrack from their we believe in generations statement, but also it's a company and there's money on the table. They're gonna take it. I don't really have any hot takes here, but there are a lot of them out there on the internet if you wanna go find them. Face value, that's how I see it. Honestly, the, the biggest win I look for here is the fact that 
it's not coming out immediately, don't rush it, make it a really good game. That's all I want. And of course, in case you missed it as well, uh, there have been a ton of Switch Pro rumors. We talked about the main bulk of them last week, but uh, once again this week, there's been all kinds of new rumors uh, in, ter in terms of like, once again, insiders uh, suggesting that it is going to be an OLED screen, uh, some, some hardware rumors and stuff like that. And also uh, people have been playing with the fact that apparently this thing is going to get revealed any day now. It was going to be Wednesday, then it was going to be Thursday. Uh, now apparently it's going to be now, Friday, as I'm talking. Uh, we've seen glimpses of leaked storefronts that apparently maybe have listed a Switch Pro type of thing. It's a shit show. Trust no one. A lot of insiders out there, I think, are playing games. I, I don't think all of them are. Uh, some of these guys I do trust. But all I can really suggest at the end of the day is patience. Relax. You're gonna give yourself an aneurysm. It's gonna come out when it's gonna come out. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Again, just wanna see the games. Looking forward to E3 and seeing them hopefully show some Breath of the Wild 2 and stuff. Next up, before we move on, this episode is brought to you by nothing, uh, just you guys. No sponsor this week, just wanted to be corny and say thank you like we do sometimes. Uh, whether you watch this show every Friday or any of the videos we put out, Thank you very much. We don't do a lot of sponsored content. The sponsor spot here is the only 60 second sponsored thing we do uh, throughout vi uploading videos every single day. So thanks for engaging. Thanks for watching. We love you. Chef kiss to you. Next up, uh, the E3 leaks are starting to come. Uh, the first big one it seems like we got is thanks to uh, some Reddit insiders. Uh, we will link in the description. Uh, and it was also corroborated by some scoopers, some, some reporters. Uh, we know possibly what 2K is working on. Uh, apparently we might not see all of this at E3, but I still think it's really interesting. First thing, boring thing out of the way, uh, the, uh, the NBA 2K cover athlete is possibly going to be. The cover guy will be Dirk Nowitzki from the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, so that's a thing. Uh, but the interesting takeaways from this is that apparently for Axis, the people most recently behind the XCOM games are working on a Marvel property and they're essentially taking their XCOM style turn-based formula and applying it to Marvel superheroes, which sounds very strange and interesting but I'm about it. This also kind of bounces off of uh, reports earlier in the week suggesting that there is a new kind of bigger budget Guardians of the Galaxy game in the works. So a lot of Marvel things could be in the oven here, which I think makes sense uh, just following uh, the inside baseball behind the scenes here, uh, knowing some of the people who have started working at Disney in terms of like acquisition and, and putting stuff out, uh, works with game studios uh, before they were with Disney. So it makes sense that a lot of these properties might possibly be going out to different studios. Uh, hopefully, competent studios, uh, the right studios for the right job. So that's cool to see. There's also apparently a Borderlands spinoff coming, uh, featuring specifically Tiny Tina, if that's your type of thing. This is Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, uh, which it's like we kind of knew this was a thing, but now this is more of a, a definite. And of course, all of this still is rumors and scoops and leaks, grain of salt, but it seems pretty likely. And the last thing is something right now, but going by their working title, Codename Vault. Apparently it's a sci-fi action game uh, with magic and supernatural abilities uh, and uh, it's been dubbed Cthulhu meets Saints Row and apparently uh, this is from Hangar 13 the people who made Mafia 3. What I wonder and, and the reports don't suggest this uh, is that some sort of Bioshock spinoff? We know that there is a Bioshock something in the works. It has been for a long time. It seems like there's been rumblings. I wonder if this is an offshoot of that or something else differently entirely. I don't care. Whatever it is, sounds cool. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys think of those leaks. If they are real, what do you think? What do you think an XCOM with Marvel superheroes could be like? I can't, I can't really imagine it other than like, kind of like Ultimate Alliance. I, I don't know. Or maybe it's just with S.H.I.E.L.D. agents or an AIM. Let me know what you think. Anyway, uh, next up, we got some trailers and stuff linked in the description, some stuff to get you caught up on. Uh, the first is another update for No Man's Sky called No Man's Sky Prisms. This is like some new animals, a lot of new graphical effects, new weather effects, new atmospheric effects. It seems like it makes a heck of a difference. This game just will keep going forever. We also linked a trailer for the Crisis Remastered Trilogy, uh, which has been formally shown and is a thing. Crisis 1 Remastered, I wasn't super hot on, but... I'm willing to jump back and finally finish Crisis 3. Chivalry 2 is dropping next week, so we linked the Chivalry 2 launch trailer. We also got some really good looking new Psychonauts 2 
gameplay uh, thanks to Game Informer that we'll link that's pretty substantial get a good feel of the game and that seems like that's finally going to be out soon also shout out to friend of the show dot pone i believe that's how i pronounce your name uh for sharing this with us this is a really cool ghost of tsushima uh, camera hack uh, for photo mode people who have now been able to create incredible aerial photos of the whole island we'll link all of this in the description below so uh, apparently this was found by photo mode of TSU1. Some of the photos here are from Jenny Latonin 2. Uh, just really impressive, cool stuff. We love highlighting the photo mode community because people do amazing stuff like figuring out this camera exploit. What will you guys do next? In other news, we're getting another Warhammer 40k game. Now, while that doesn't sound like a big deal, I know we just had uh, Necromunda uh, release and there's always Warhammer spinoffs and types of things in the works. Uh, this one's pretty interesting. A lot of people didn't expect this. This is a new Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate game. This is a tactical turn-based RPG style game and we haven't seen one of these in like 25 years. So if you're a fan of Warhammer, you might be really excited. Apparently there's some really good uh, Warhammer people involved in this project and the potential is really high. So putting it on your radar, keep an eye on it. And I uh, just wanted to highlight some cool dumb stuff. Uh, apparently like the, the newest iteration of the, the Tesla and infotainment the whole unit thing that controls everything in the car is closer to like a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox, like in terms of tech specs. At the AMD event that we talked about at the start of the show, the infotainment system that is updated in the new Tesla Model S and X is rocking an AMD Ryzen processor and an RDNA 2 GPU, which is very much the stuff that a lot of our games are built on and played with, which is pretty crazy. So according to this report, apparently this thing is gonna have like 10 teraflops of power, which is uh, pretty nuts. Uh, Tesla has talked about wanting to have more games on their thing. Uh, there is more news suggesting that they're working with Linux developers to maybe make it kind of be a Linux-based uh, game type of thing. Either way, just kind of fun. Video games in your car or your really expensive car. Uh, who would have thought? <laughs> that being said though, I wanna hear from you guys everything we talked about down in the comments. Now there's a lot. So of the E3 leaks, what are you thinking? What excites you the most of all the events? Which one are you looking forward to the most? You hoping we'll see some real gameplay this year? What do you think Cyberpunk, uh, rather CD Projekt Red is working on? What could this new thing that they're hiring for really be? Let's talk anything about the video game news this week down in the comments. Definitely want to hear from you. Uh, we'll be down there as much as possible with you guys. Things get a little crazy though. So if you want to yell at me directly, Twitter and Instagram at Jake Baldino and my other channel. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. We're here every Friday, giving you the news, catching you up on the week. If you like this stuff, you can click like. It really helps us. We would appreciate that. But catch you guys next week. I'll see you on the Before You Buys. I'm Jake Baldino. Thanks for watching. Pizza's on me.